Hey nerdlings! What's up nerdlings? Do you even know what a meta is for? <laughs> it's Tom and Lady Lacey of the Variety Channel, Do You Nerd? And you know, we nerd out about a lot of things. And when we ask that question, do you nerd? It's usually like, what do you nerd out about? Well, for us, big things, obviously, video games. <laughs> you love your movies and TV I shows. I do, I really do. And you know what's something really nerdy to do about stuff like that? It's to figure out like those little meta moments in movies, TV shows, video games, whatever. So the idea that it's being self-referential in some way, not quite breaking that fourth wall, but introducing an element that shouldn't exist in yeah, that world. Yeah, kind of being self-aware. I picked out a couple of things from video games. I believe you have some things I have, from movies. yes, and because my memory is crap, I wrote them down. Oh, same here. Same. <laughs> I don't even know who I am half the time. Most of the time, I'm like, hi, I'm Lacey. No. No, wait. <laughs> anyway, ladies first, what is a, a great movie meta moment? I would have to say one of my most favorite is from Stargate SG-1, which is one of my favorite TV shows. Then the pilot episode where they, uh, the crew goes to Abydos for the first time and Carter looks at O'Neill and says, it took us 15 years to MacGyver a rig to be able to get us to be able to dial the Stargate when she's looking at the DHD device. And of course, we all know that Richard Dean Anderson was MacGyver. That's so, hilarious. The look that he gives her is just priceless. It took us 15 years and three supercomputers to MacGyver a system for the gate on Earth. It kind of makes me wonder in that moment, was it planned? Or like, uh... Like she just slipped it in there. We spent seven years on MacGyver and you can't figure this one out? We, we got belt buckles and shoelaces and a piece of gum. Build a nuclear reactor for crying out loud. You used to be MacGyver, McGadget, McGimmick. Now you're Mr. McUseless. Dear God. Stuck on a glacier with MacGyver. In video games, I mean, one of the first ones that come to mind, of course, with meta things happening is Metal Gear Solid 1. And take your pick. You know, you reference... Merrill's codec code, which is on the back of the case. No, the game case. It's not anything in the game. They tell you to look on the back of the CD case. I spent hours <laughs> looking around for a CD case in the game, and someone was like, dude, it's on the back of the case. I know it's on the back of the case. They're like, no, the game case. Like, the game case. Oh, that case. And then, of course, the Psycho Mantis <laughs> fight. You know, you're, you're plugging that controller into port two, so he can't read your moves. Or the fact that he will read your memory card, and if you happen to have any Konami game saves on there, he will reference them, whether it's Castlevania, Symphony of the Night. Or my favorite was always when he asked you, how Silent Hill this time of year? <laughs> you like Castlevania, don't you? You enjoy role-playing games. I see that you enjoy Konami games. So it's, it's fun. It doesn't exactly pull you out of the game, but it does kind of freak you out there in the moment. Like, how does he know I was playing that game? <laughs> well, another one that I love for movies is, of course, Spaceballs. And we all know Mel Brooks is great at breaking that fourth wall and being very meta in, like, almost everything he does. But in Spaceballs, when they literally watch the movie while filming the movie, they do this in order to figure out where the good guys are, but then they catch up to the moment that the now now. This is the now now time. What happened to then? Then was then, this is now. What happened to then? We passed that. When? Just now. We're at now now. So that, I, I love that. I absolutely love that movie. I feel like you could basically just tick all the boxes with Mel Brooks movies when you're talking meta and fourth wall breaks <laughs> anyway. Well, another classic one for video games is Eternal Darkness, of course. Now this GameCube game it will mess with you by showing bugs crawling around on your screen and you start thinking, is, is that a fly on my TV? No, it's in the game. It's messing with you. <laughs> of course, it also likes to mess with you that much further by claiming your controller or your game or even the save file itself is corrupted and not working. <laughs> yeah, talk about terrifying. Oh, I'm in the middle of playing a game and my save file's gone? Great. Sorry. Another really, really fun one is Expendables 2. Now, those movies are fun anyway. You've got lots of fun lines in it, but one of the one of the great ones from Expendables 2 is when Bruce Willis tells Arnold Schwarzenegger, he goes, uh, you've been back enough, okay? 
And so then Arnold looks at Bruce Willis and goes, yippee ki -yay. Wow. <laughs> I'll be back. You've been back enough. I'll be back. yippee ki -yay. By the way, fun fact, I haven't even seen any of the experiments. No? And I have a bonus one. One of my favorite things, because I am a huge Arnold Schwarzenegger fan from the first Expendables. They were talking to Arnold and they said something about him. He just wants to be president of the United States, right? This is a fourth wall break slash meta because at the time he was the governor and he kind of looks at the camera and just winks and smiles. Nice. So that's like kind of like meta fourth wall break <laughs> combo right there. I, I always love that. He wants to be president. Basically, that was his political path right there. It was. There. Give me chills. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a fun one meta instance in a video game is Earthbound on Super Nintendo. When you start the game off, it asks you to fill in some information. You know, what do you want to name your friends? What's your favorite food? So on and so forth. It even asks you to put your own name in there. And you may forget about that until the very end. In the final boss battle, look... If you guys don't know about the final boss battle now, it's, it's been decades, so, you know, spoilers, <laughs> I guess. But anyway, there's a moment when all of the characters are asked to pray, and then it asks you, Tom, you need to help us pray. Keep in mind, you're in the middle of the final encounter, the final boss fight, and when the game is asking you to help you by name, yeah, it's like, what? Okay. What's, ha what's happening? I don't know if I should be scared or not. Another good one is, of course, Zombieland. It kind of makes itself aware of itself by giving you all the rules to zombie movies. And then on top of that, not only does it give you all the rules and how to make a good zombie movie, how to survive a zombie movie, they also ignore the rules of the zombie movie by never doing the double tap. Going back to the Metal Gear Solid franchise, the second Sons of Liberty Oh, this had some messed up moments later in the game. Colonel Campbell seems to be having some AI issues. And he starts messing with you, even the player in the game, as well as you, the player on the couch. Raiden, don't you think you should shut the console off? Don't you think you've been playing long enough? What's wrong with you? Don't worry, it's a game. It's a game just like usual. A friend of mine was actually playing the game. He said it was super late, probably early in the morning. He was already tired. And all of a sudden, Colonel Campbell comes on there and asks him, don't you think you've been playing this long enough? He said it did mess with his head. He was like, okay, so I saved, I shut it off, I went to bed, <laughs> and I hid under the covers. Some Nintendo games will do that to you, too. They'll, like, check on you to make sure you need shouldn't get outside or something like that. Stop bossing me around, Nintendo. I know. I'll touch grass when I feel like it. <laughs> A very fun one is Wes Craven's new Nightmare. It's literally telling you all the previous movies were movies. And all the actors were actors. And then all of a sudden Freddy's like, uh-uh, I'm gonna come kill you now. I actually <laughs> love the movie for that reason. Yes, it was a fun twist. When Heather calls Robert England and is trying to talk to him, he's like painting a picture or something like that. There's something going on in Robert's head. Like, as he's doing that painting, like, he's... Not all there. Well, except. you play Freddy long enough, you're probably not going to be all there anyway. <laughs> well, my last one had to bust out a Zelda game, and not a lot of people would think Zelda is having those meta moments. Link's Awakening, first of all, this trippy dream world adventure is already weird enough. But you have moments when there's like a kid in Maid Village saying, Hey man, when you want to save the game, just push all the buttons at once. Uh, don't ask me. I'm just a kid. Like, what? <laughs> What's he talking about? And it's like, okay, okay, fair enough. That's tutorial stuff in a game. But you have that moment when you win the Yoshi doll in the Crane game, and it says, you got a Yoshi doll. Recently, he seems to be showing up in many games. I, I can picture Link being there like, what? What games? What's happening here? Oh, come on. You know he doesn't talk. He would just get to go, what? Oi? Hi? <laughs> <laughs> and then the shopkeeper would like kind of push him out because that's that's bad for business. This guy's having a stroke from playing your crane <laughs> game. <laughs> Too much flashing lights. <laughs> it was kind of fun trying to think of meta moments yes. in games and movies, but it was tough 
to not go for like fourth wall yeah, breaks. Yeah, it's a lot easier, I think, to find the fourth wall breaks than to find the actual meta things of it. And then some things are like, like really blurs the line of this is both at the same time, fourth wall breaking and meta. <laughs> so yeah, maybe we'll tackle that other one down the line, but leave some comments down below what you thought of any of our meta picks. What is your favorite meta yeah, pick? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I want to hear some more game ones and any nah, movie ones. Movie that, ones are way better. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> movie ones are better. That's what she says. Oh, have I driven you to drink? Yep. <laughs> anyway, leave those comments down below. We'll catch you next time, nerdlings. Bye. So, uh, mm, stop saying so. So, 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 so. Well, I would have I had a stroke. Like. <laughs> As Break it down. So, 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 As so, 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 <laughs> passing it to you. So, 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 so. Bringing it back. So, 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 duo. So. <laughs> we got problems. <laughs> really do. Mm -hmm. Like when Heather is calling. What is his name? Robert England. Robert England. Yes. Okay. What's she drinking anyway? Drambuie. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. It's I don't mind. So, so smooth. I don't mind if you do either, as long as it loosens you up. Oh, I did get new jammies. <laughs>